the women's 100 backstroke S11 final is next. We have Stephanie Duard from France in lane number one. Making sure those goggles are not going to fall off the French swimmer. There's Martina Rabellini, 17 year old, next to another 17 year old, Marina Podobna from the Ukraine, Mary Fisher, well, she is the world champion, Paralympic silver medalist in lane four, Daniela Schulte in five, may challenge the New Zealander for this title, Chikako Ono from Japan in lane number six, she may feature in the medals, 14-year-old Elizabeth Agel from Estonia in lane seven, and Lee Huizo already a medalist in the two freestyle events we've seen at these championships so far but Mary Fisher got to be the big favorite for this one James. well yes yeah, she's she has but it's Daniela Schulter who's the quickest on paper coming into this meet don't write her off yet Paul she was excellent yesterday she looks like she means business again today we have a contrast in styles between the two favorites Mary Fisher Daniela Schulter Daniela Schulter great exponent of just going down the center of the lane not really near the lane ropes but mary fisher she does like to, to hug the lane rope slightly just getting the the confidence from knowing that she is moving in the the correct direction not swaying across any of the lanes and she she uses the lane ropes to great effect well it's a, and it's a real trade-off isn't it you, do you go down the lane rope potentially it's potentially uh, increasing your, your resistance and drag, but knowing exactly where you are in the lane so that you're not snaking about, or do you, do you take a risk and go down the center of the lane, but without the ability to know exactly where you are? And we've seen, as we saw in the last race, often when these S11 swimmers, they hit the lane rope, they'll then try and correct. They often overcorrect and go straight back into the lane rope on the other side, um, and that'll cost time. Well, it will. But if that's the case, you're not swimming 100 metres, you're swimming a lot more than that, and that is going to cost you time, as you say, Jobs. Well, there's Elizabeth Agel, the 14 year old. They are just waiting for the confirmed result of the previous event, we are told. So we shall wait and see when we get the official result for that, but these ladies are ready to go. A bit frustrating when you're we're held at the start, Giles. Well, absolutely. Interesting, just talking about Elizabeth Agel there. She's, uh, as you said, very, very young, but second fastest in the world so far this year. Set 125.84 in Berlin. Well, she only went 129 in the heat, so she's got something more in the tank. She had a good European Championships last year at age 13 and she was in Glasgow earlier this year with the Estonian team who came here for the British International Meet to swim against the other international swimmers, check out the venue here and she performed pretty well there. Mary Fisher, well, five gold medals at the last World Championships in Montreal spoke to her on the way here to the pool she was feeling confident we do now have a confirmed result from the first event we'll bring you that when we can but we will move on to this event the women's backstroke s11 take your marks last promise to be a head-to-head -head battle between Mary Fisher and Daniela Schulter. You can't count out everyone else, but Fisher and Schulter are the pre-race favourites. Well, and as expected, Mary Fisher headed straight for that left-hand lane rope. There you can see she's probably just brushing it with her forearm, forearm as that hand whips through to the end of the stroke. Also going well on the outside of her is Pidupna of the Ukraine, but I think we'll expect to see her fade. Interestingly, Schulte as well, now over on the lane rope. There's the tap for Mary Fisher, later than her competitors. She's up quite quickly, again over onto the lane rope pull, but it's quite nice backstroke swimming, this nice roll to the shoulders. 
very much sticking on that backstroke, on that main rope as we come now into the final 25 metres. Difficult uh, to see the lead change here. Yeah, Mary Fisher is just holding that lead now, and it looks like she is going to stay ahead of Danielle Schulter, who's through in the silver medal position with the double in the bronze medal position. But here comes Mary Fisher. Let's have a look at the clock. It's going to be very close to the world record. It's just outside the record time. It's a new championship record for Mary Fisher of New Zealand, and she will claim her second gold medal of these championships. It was a convincing win in the end. She wins by a second and a half from Danielle Schulter from Germany and Marina Padovma from Ukraine gets the bronze medal. It's a repeat of the result we had at the last World Championships in Montreal two years ago. Fischer, Schulter and Padovna. Well, it was a good swim from Padovna to bring the bronze. Here's the start, lane four, Mary Fischer. And there you can see using the lane rope effectively as a guide. She'll be just brushing that with the forearm of her right arm. There we go. And they're using the tap on the side there. Doesn't actually get it right in the end. Clatters into the wall. Fortunately, she had a big enough lead that it didn't actually mean any difference to the medal standings for Mary Fisher. She won't be aware that she's won until these goggles are checked. Her tapper is not allowed to tell her. These goggles look okay. 